Y'all see where I'm at right now? Walmart. So I just pulled up over here at Walmart real quick. I gotta run in and grab a damn bug zapper and a lint roller. That's all I gotta get. So if I come out with something more than what I came here to get, Walmart has tricked me. That's all I'm coming to get, a bug zapper, a lint roller. Because cooking on my porch, wasps and bees and stuff always flying around. So I'm coming, I came up here to get a damn a bug zapper. And I saw one yesterday, but I didn't like it. So I, I, I looked online and I see they got some different ones. So I came to get it. But anyway, anyway, when I just pulled up in Walmart parking lot, I saw a Walmart truck sitting over there and it had on the side of it, uh, drive for Walmart, had the website or whatever. So it got me to thinking about something because you know, right now Walmart saying they paying the drivers $110,000 a year. Well, you know, that hit social media a few weeks ago. So it's a guy that's in my flatbed gang group on Facebook that used to be a flatbedder, but now he works for Walmart. And so I asked him, I asked the guy about it because people in my group were talking about it. Flatbed gang Facebook group, people were talking about it. So this guy commented and I, and I started talking to him and I asked him, I was like, yo, you know, they paying y'all $110,000 a year, you know, up with 95 to 110,000. So I asked the guy, I'm like, how much do y'all bring home per week? And the guy told me he was like around 15 to 1800 a week. I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, 15 to 1800, that, that ain't too much different than like the average trucker, ain't too much different. So like, uh, so that tell, that leads me to believe, you know, that 95,000, you know, that's the gross, whatever. You actually probably bring home, I don't know how much they take out for taxes or whatever on, on W-2s. Uh, 1500, $2,000 a week, that, ain't re that really, that really is not a lot of money. Like, as, as tr like, especially for like a guy like me that leases a truck, you know, sometimes I could bring home a, a $3,000 check in a week or like a fucking, I brought home $5,000 checks sometimes. But like right now, since I've been running local, I average between $2,500 to $3,000 a week. Right now, since I've been doing uh, local, I don't go too far out. So is Walmart really worth it? Is it really worth it to go work for Walmart if, you, if you're paper chasing? Now, you know, if you're an old man, you know, you've been flatbedding, you know, 20, 25 years or whatever, you know, it might, Walmart might be good for you, but like a young person like myself and like a lot of young truckers that follow me or even the ones that don't follow me, you know, just young truckers, period. Like a lot of people that, that I deal with, like, it's not a lot of money. $1,500 is really not a lot of money per week. And so that also wants me to tell y'all about leasing a truck. Because yes, I lease a truck. I lease a truck from a company. But you have these people that always say, oh, you don't need to lease the truck. You don't own the truck. It's not your truck, whatever. Okay, guess what? Guess what? That's what I want to say. When you're leasing a truck, you don't, you don't deal with all the hassle and the overhead of a true owner operator. You know, you don't have to go go out and finance the truck and you know have maybe have 20 percent down or whatever the bank wants you know like because a lot of people don't have 25 thirty thousand dollars just laying around you know to go put a down payment down on the truck a lot of people don't have it like that so leasing a truck you can get into a truck with zero money down zero money down that's it nothing zero money down no upfront charges you don't pay for fuel you don't pay for insurance like everything comes out of your check you, you get fuel this week, it comes out of your check next week. The company pays for the fuel. So, there's nothing wrong with leasing a truck. My truck that I have right now is leased through PNS. They charge me $500 a week. $500 a week for that truck. $500 a week. $500 a week. It's not a lot of money. $500 a week. That's $2,000 a month. $500 a week. $500 a week. So if my truck was paid off, that would be an extra $500 per week in my pocket if my truck was paid off. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? it, it it's a lot of money, but so what so so my question for the, my question for you young drivers is the trade-off. Could you trade off 
five hundred dollars a week versus actually bringing home over over twenty five hundred a week, over over twenty five hundred. And I'm not, and, and all these guys saying, oh, well, that's after fuel, that's after the payment or whatever. You still got to take the fuel. No, no, that's what you're going to bring home. That's, and, and that's, and like I said, that's a low number for somebody like me. You see, I'm home every day. I'm running local and could bring home 2500 a week after, after expenses, after I take the taxes out. My money. Some of my buddies that run over the road, the guys that don't go, you know, guys that only come home on the weekends or whatever. Like I got a, I got a buddy right now down in Alabama named Chris. Chris is fucking bringing home forty five hundred, five thousand dollars a week. And I just talked to Chris a couple weeks ago. Chris the trucker. If anybody follows me on YouTube, y'all know Chris the trucker. He works at PNS. So hey, Chris just bought a damn house, big ass house. And I talked to Chris. Cause I I talk, I actually recruited Chris to come over to PNS. So I talked to Chris. I said, Chris, let me ask you a question. Has leasing been worth it? Cause when he first started out, it was kind of rough. I used to talk to him. He was complaining, like, yeah, man, they're telling me what I can do with the truck, what I can't do with it. Cause he wanted to dead head home. Cause I told him, I said, hey, I dead head home. I dead head home from Nashville to damn Dunn, North Carolina one time. That was like, what's that about 600 miles? Yeah, I dead head. They couldn't get me a load. I wasn't going to sit at the truck stop the whole weekend. Hell, was my truck. I went home. But Chris was in that same situation once, and they told him he couldn't dead head home. But guess what? Chris earned his stripes. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do now. So, yeah, I talked to Chris. I said, Chris, is it worth leasing? He said, hell, yeah, it's worth it. So you got all these guys that uh, say, oh, save the money. Hey, so y'all, so these are the kind of guys that 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 are going to be company drivers. They're going to bring home a thousand dollars a week. That's all they're going to bring home: thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. That's all they're going to bring home, and they're going to say, "Oh, I'm just going to save my money. I'm going to buy a truck outright." Y'all can do that. Y'all can do that. Y'all can do that. You can do that. Take you five, ten years to save the money, put a down payment, or. You can come work for a company that's going to lease you a truck for five hundred dollars a week, and you're going to bring home three to four grand a week. Bring home, and, and, and the only trade-off they're taking five hundred dollars a week out your check for that truck payment. So, what y'all think about that? Good or bad? What y'all think? Now, right now, I'm about to go in Walmart. Let's try not to spend some money. Stuck to the plan. Bug zapper, lint roller. Made it out. <laughs>